Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to learn about even and odd signals. Okay, so the classification of the signals, the second type of classification that is even and odd signals. So if you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and encourage me to do more videos like this. So even and odd signals. So a signal, a signal is said to be even if it is symmetrical about origin. If it is symmetrical about origin. If a given signal is symmetrical about origin, that is symmetrical about origin means it should look uh, in the same manner for both negative and positive half of the positive uh, half that is positive values and negative values of time t it it should look symmetrical that is it should be symmetrical about origin okay so mathematically it is represented as this symmetrical about origin this word is represented mathematically as x of minus t is equal to x of t for all t okay so example for this is any signal like this okay so this is an even signal for 2 to minus 2 so it looks symmetrical about origin okay so triangular signal it is also looking same for both positive and negative values so it is symmetrical about origin okay so the x-axis is t so this is x of t any signal x of t so such type of signals is said to be even signal okay in discrete time also so if you take discrete time also suppose at t this this So its value is same at 1, 2, O and it is also same at minus 1 and minus 2. So it is an even signal. That's all. Okay. Second, a signal is said to be odd. Is said to be odd signal if it is asymmetric. It is not symmetric about origin and it is represented mathematically as x of minus t is equal to minus x of t for all t okay so for all t this is the thing so if your signal is like this for same time period 2 to minus 2 0 and amplitudes will also be same but opposite in direction no sorry opposite in magnitude okay such type of signal is said to be odd signal okay so time period in both positive and negative time should be same and amplitude should also be same but with opposite sign so positive amplitude for positive half cycle and negative amplitude for negative half cycle and this is not the rule uh, negative amplitude should be there but they should have opposite amplitudes that's all so a signal of this type same signal I'm drawing okay so this and this 2 here minus 2 here amplitude is plus 2 and amplitude here is minus 2 so this is also an odd signal okay so it should be like this okay so area under odd signal is always equal to 0 let me talk about that later okay okay so this is about the classification of energy and uh, sorry even and odd signals okay so if a signal is given for you x of t is given for you and you are asked to find the even component and odd component this is very important question practically this this type of questions will appear okay they will not we never ask you to find uh, the definitions of this even and odd signals so you are given with some signal and you are asked to find even component and odd component present in the signal 
or they may give you any discrete time signal also they may ask you to find even component and its corresponding odd component so that is found by using these formulas x e of t which is even component is given by x of t plus x of minus t divided by 2 similarly odd component x o of t is x of t minus x of minus t divided by 2 Similarly, if the given signal is discrete in nature, x e of n is equal to x of n plus x of minus n by 2. And similarly, odd component is x of n minus x of minus n divided by 2. Okay, so these are the formulas which are used to find the even components and odd components in a given signal. Okay. So now we'll see some of the important points regarding even and odd signals. So first is even plus even signal. So if you add two even signals, then the resultant is also even signal. For example, cos t plus cos t is two cos t, which is again an even signal. So even plus even is also again even signal. Second, odd plus odd is equal to odd signal only so if you add two odd signals the resultant is also an odd signal for example sin t is an odd signal plus sin t is also odd signal so resultant is 2 sin t which is again an odd signal third odd plus even odd plus even is neither even nor odd signal okay so it is neither even nor odd signal that is we can't say whether the resultant signal is either even or odd okay so fourth even into even is an even signal suppose example cos t into cos t can be written as cos square t cos square t can be written as 1 plus cos 2 t by 2 so this is again an even signal only okay fifth odd into odd odd into odd the resultant is even signal only okay suppose sin t into sin t is sin square t sin square t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 t by 2 this is an even signal again cosine signal is an uh, even signal so the resultant will be even signal okay so i am giving these examples in order to make you remember easily okay so you can remember that like this or you can remember like this and sixth is even into odd even into odd is equal to odd signal that is sin t into cos t if you have sin t into cos t so this can be written as 2 sin t cos t divided by 2 so this is sin 2t by 2 so sin is again an odd signal so the resultant is odd signal so odd multiplied by even or even multiplied by odd the resultant signal is odd signal okay and seventh differentiation differentiation of even signal is odd signal similarly differentiation of odd signal is even signal Okay, so d by dt of cos t is sin t, d by dt of sin t is cos t. Okay, so this is the and similarly integration of even signal, integration of even signal is odd signal and integration of odd signal, odd signal dt is even signal. Okay, so integration of sin t cos t and cos t is sin t. Of course, amplitude changes negative sign will come but we don't consider any amplitude here we are discussing only about the symmetry here okay so that is the thing and next is if uh, x of t is odd signal if x of t is odd signal then area under odd signal then area under odd signal is equal to 0 okay so area under odd signal is equal to 0 for one complete cycle okay so one complete time period or one complete cycle 
right so 10th if x of t is even signal then area for one time period area for one time period is equal to 2 into one sided area 2 into one sided area that is integral suppose uh, 2t is the time period minus t to t x e of t dt is there so it can be written as 2 into 0 to t x of t dt because events in even signals it is symmetric about origin so from t to minus t if you have okay since it is symmetric about origin this area suppose this is area 1 I am taking this as area 2 so we have area of 1 is equal to area of 2 so in order to find the total area we can multiply with 2 so and we can take the area from 0 to t okay so we can take the area from 0 to t and just multiply it with 2 okay and this is because of the symmetry about origin property of even signal okay so all these are important fourth fifth point and sixth point all these three are important when we deal with Fourier series in Fourier series we have a concept called symmetry com concept okay so by taking symmetry concept we will make some of the Fourier series questions say that zero uh, uh, we will make them zero directly okay so it is based on even symmetry odd symmetry and there we are going to have the multiplication of even and odd signals that is why i have told you here as a basic okay so next we'll see one of the question okay so how to find even and odd components so if you are given with a signal like this x of t is equal to sin t okay sin t plus cos t plus sin t cos t and you are asked to find the even and odd components present in the signal okay so i have told you the even component formula is x of t plus x of minus t divided by 2 and similarly odd component formula is x of t minus x of minus t divided by 2 okay so we have x of t and now we have to find x of minus t so sine of minus t plus cos of minus t plus sin of minus t into cos of minus t okay so just in the place of t we are substituting it with minus t so we know that sin is an odd signal that is sin of minus t is equal to minus sin t and cos is an even signal so cos of minus t is equal to cos t okay so these are the basics of trigonometry okay so uh, using this sorry uh, something happened here right okay no problem so x of minus t is given by sine of minus t is minus sine t plus cos of minus t is cos t plus sine of minus t is minus sine t into cos of minus t is cos t so totally you'll get uh, it as minus sine t plus cos t minus so plus into minus is minus so minus sine t into cos t so this is x of minus t and if you want to find the even component in this x e of t even component so it will be x of t plus x of minus t divided by 2 so x of t is this one sine t plus cos t plus sin t cos t plus x of minus t is this so plus uh, uh, plus into minus is minus so we'll get minus sin t okay uh, plus cos t minus sin t cos t divided by 2 so minus sin t plus sin t gets cancelled off sin t cos t minus sin t cos t gets cancelled off so remaining is 2 cos t 2 cos t by 2 is going to be cos t only okay so this is going to be cos t okay so x o of t that is odd component is given by x of t minus x of minus t divided by 2 
सो एक्स ऑफ टी साइन टी प्लस कॉस टी प्लस साइन टी कॉस टी माइनस ऑफ माइनस साइन टी प्लस कॉस टी माइनस साइन टी कॉस टी ओके सो डिवाइडेड बाय टू ओके सो व्हाट इज द आउटपुट हियर सो साइन टी माइनस ऑफ माइनस साइन टी इज टू साइन टी टू साइन टी डिवाइडेड बाय टू इज साइन टी दिस टू टर्म्स ओके साइन टी प्लस साइन टी डिवाइडेड बाय टू इज साइन टी so this cos t and this becomes minus into plus is minus cos t cos t and this is minus cos t so both will be get cancelled off okay and here sin t cos t minus of minus sin t cos t so it will be 2 sin t cos t divided by 2 is plus sin t cos t okay so this is the odd component x not of t is the odd component which is sin t plus sin t cos t and even component here is Where is this? Ah, uh, cos t. Okay, and if you want to get the signal, the total signal is again even component plus odd component. If you see here, so cos t, even component is cos t plus odd component is sine t plus sine t cos t is your original signal. So original signal is the combination of even and odd components of the given signal and this is how we can find the even component and odd component of the given signal okay